Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Cyclone Hunter, and before we fucking start this, I have never in my life gone out of my way to like test a fucking game this long or this much as I have with this. So, uh, let me explain something real quick. The game, I did try recording it once. I fucked up everything. The audio was too damn loud from the mic. The audio from the game was too damn loud. Everything was too damn loud. <laughs> so I had to put down everything to like a fucking low ass thing. And, um, another thing, this is a continuation of To the Moon. If you guys don't know what To the Moon is, um, I never played it, so don't think there's a fucking, what's it called? Um, never played it. It's also a continuation of a bird story. Both those made by Kanagaya. I have never played the games, but I've watched them. Uh, watched YouTubers play them. Uh, to the Moon, I watched PewDiePie. Bird story, I watched Cry and To the Moon. Uh, with Cry as well, because I want to see his reaction. Um, both games, fucking fantastic. And I want to give this a try. Um, so I already know what's going to happen for a little bit, because uh, the game cut off on me right when I was getting into it. Sort of like, you know, the the good shit where you go back and what's it called. So yeah, um, I'm excited. I am honestly excited, and I cannot wait. So... <sighs> oh, a lot much clearer than the last time. Because another fuck up I did. Um, I tried going full 1080 and shit. Um, it didn't work. So, again, sorry if the quality of the game is shit. It's what I'm working on. God damn it. <laughs> I hope it's not lagging for y'all, by the way. I hope it's not. I hope it's going, like, smoothly for y'all. Because I, I can't check shit. I can't check nothing. Uh, that. Oh, hello. What's that? <laughs> God damn it. No! Not a rehab! Ah! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Don't die! We fucking go! We go, baby! <clears throat> also, sorry if I sound loud when I yell. <laughs> the mic volume is very loud. What the f- Ava? That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Oh yeah, because into the moon, Watts killed someone. <laughs> no, he killed the- he killed, he killed the squirrel. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. Oh yeah, that's right, this is the place where I am. Well, that was wrong with me. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicting critter casualties later. Logic! God damn it. <sighs> Enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow. Only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. And then I have to eat them. For ages. Yeah, that's not bad. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Oh my god, don't you dare say it! Don't you mean... PINEAPPLES?! <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. Just shoves it in his mouth. <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah, sorry again guys, I'm still sick. Um I'm making this like a week after I made that I have a flu video. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Bitch! <laughs> wow. That's mean. Why are you gonna do that? Actually there were some things I didn't want to change. Um Wow! Check out this rat bike! Why can't we get to work on these instead? Oh wait, can, why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we are here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really, I can tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half dead people. Very different things. He's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, it runs more smoothly. My God. Let's roll. Ah, like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls sushi. Yeah, uh, no. That's quite a stretch. Okay, now we can walk. Yeah, like I said, I've, I know what's coming. God damn, it's hard to move with this fucking joystick. Hmm, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. <laughs> God damn it, Watson, you're a dick. I love Watson, he's such an asshole, but he's funny. Hey, now, what happened here? <laughs> she can climb anywhere into the water. <laughs> It's the same music from To The Moon. That's what's so awesome. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Gah. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? Gah. Provisor, my bum is pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. Yeah! Uh, don't worry, we'll get your bear back. <laughs> Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this. Okay, so I already know what Doc- Nah, fucking Dr. Watts was funny. <laughs> hey! Heh, <laughs> what? Huh? Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus! Yeah! It's the new Bevel Doll X3000! Dun dun dun! They cool, cause they got attitude and don't care. Unlike whippy teddy bears, they. Wait, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. Neil, what the hell, the penual did you do? What? What do you mean? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yeah! Huh? You're my hero! No problem, kid. In your face! Yee! Uh, 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 look, I'm, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. <laughs> she dances, she... Oh my god! More moves than the last one, holy shit! This is so messed up. Just as it's cold and damp, Ava. Kind of like a tuna. <coughs> I'm pretty sure Ava would have handled it a lot much better. It's just, it's... Fucking Watson is fucking funny. <laughs> He's funny! He's a funny character. I love him. I still think something's up with them. Uh, if you guys don't know about To the Moon, I recommend you guys go watch someone play it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it, because I like first reactions. I've never played this. This is new. It just came out, I think, two days ago. And... I never played it, so that's why I'm playing it now, because I want a first reaction, though first episode's not going to be first reaction, because it crashed. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh. Hello? Oh, uh, hey there. Uh, this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigma. You're, you're actually here. Uh, yeah. I hope we're on time. Uh, 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 um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you. Okay. Um, what was that? What was what? Do you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. Yeah, she do not like us that very much. She actually hates us a lot. Um. Oh, hey dude, how you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Hey bro, how you doing? It feels someone's dying, wish you huh? Um, how do you know? This is the second time I see the visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Uh, Colin Reeves. Know of him? 
The Vitae Pilot, yeah. He lives in the top floor. Go on, give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. What the fuck does that mean? Can I talk to you more? Every time I see you folks, I know one of the rooms I'm about to go into. At this rate, soon I won't even have a job here anymore. Ooh. That's that's a bit sad, but okay. Dude, Kanagai. I don't know what I'm saying is right, his name right, but Kanagai, dude, you are fucking... You are God! Well, not really, but you know what I mean. He's cool. He's a cool guy. Because he... Just just the music, the story, everything is so amazing. Spouses, am I right? Hmm? Always makes the job so cumbersome. Depends on the person. See, I feel like Ava cares a lot. And wants to see it as like a job. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but still. Dr. Rosaline, is it? And Dr. Watts, <clears throat> Uh, yes, we're here for Colin. Of, of course, uh, thank you both for coming. Right this way. Oh, okay. Written by Khan. Dude, Khan, you are amazing. You need to make this an anime. I am not joking, I would watch the shit out of it. <sighs> <sighs> On we go, I guess. Act one. Tell me, what do you want to change? Oh, I guess it wasn't A last time. Because last time I did it, uh, I pressed A, it went through. Not this time, though. I love that it's moving more smoothly now. I hope it's moving smoothly for y'all guys, too. Hmm. This is quite a place you got here. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now, I just really need to put this box down. <laughs> God damn it, Watts. God damn it. A wedding photo hangs behind the TV. The couple looks happy. This is where it starts getting sad, is when it's like... You see the patient and everything. Mm. Oh, uh, you must be here for my father. Hello, uh, can we talk to you? You're the patient's son. Uh, yeah, I came as soon as I heard. But uh, we can talk later. But why don't you get set up first? The box looks heavy. See? He gets it. I'm gonna fuck up with this boy now. Are you guys ready to get settled? Yes! Yeah, just uh, give us a moment. Okay. Think set up. Uh, give me a sec, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, fucking kids, evil. Yeah, is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? Not them. It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage for cinematic proportions. Huh! I guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. Uh, that, that's equally uh, comforting as it is worrisome. <laughs> when did hands? We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So you two are for real? Hmm? Uh, what do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish. Ah. Uh, well, certainly try our best, man. But we only succeed because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it what that he wants? Uh, he, he wouldn't tell us. Uh, he, he said it doesn't affect us, and we have nothing to worry about. Hmm. Well, that sounds legit. 
Look, uh, that's... That's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? Am I right? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but seriously, uh, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Uh, Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyways. Okay, so the last time I went as Rosaline, uh, we're gonna go Dr. Watts this time. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock, to decide. I'd rather play Logic. You forgot it, so you go get it. The end. Well played, Spock. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, why? Why is he such a funny character? I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Good. That'll save some time. Already down to business, huh? Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. Although, uh, weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Uh, yeah, but their rosters were full at the time, so we're heroically volunteer! Turned out they got nothing to do today, though. Hmm, <clears throat> I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your new job. Anyhow, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Okay. Well, I guess we're going outside. Going all the way back. Oh, what's up, dude? What up? Uh, is there anything I can help with? Yeah, I'm just gonna go head downstairs, get something, but Dr. Rosaline could use some help in a bit. Okay, understood. Yeah, and then it's gonna tell me, like, Q to switch characters. Neil, don't forget to get the patient's status monitor from Colin's medical doc first. Good idea. Wouldn't want to be snoozing when it gets the wrong note. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about that. Here, this should help. Yeah, now now I got the patient's monitor thing. Yeah. Yeah, now now we get this. It's just the little wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me tubes. Yeah, so now we can see his monitor and stuff. Which is pretty cool. Um, what, how did I get out last time? There we go. I just pressed it twice. Okay, so now we're gonna go head back down to get the file. So as I was saying, this is um this is a continuation of To the Moon and a Bird Story. If you guys never played any of those things, um or you guys have never seen any of those things, a bird story is um maybe I should explain what to the moon is first. Ah fuck we're, we're good. Um So To the Moon is the very first uh installment of this whole thing. And it's the game that made everyone like cry. <laughs> it's it's a very depressing game. It, not depressing. It's very s emotional, and that's what I'm hoping with this. Because I never faced an emotional game, and this game already sort of hit me with a little bit of feels. But that's pretty much it. Huh? You got your bear back? Yeah, but I was lady about that swooped into the bottom got it, Ruby. Uh, swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. You should lay off the sugar, kid. Ain't good for your head. <laughs> Same thing what what's her name said. <coughs> Dying. Uh, I would talk to you again, but nah, I just sort of want to get it done. Because last time with the whole lagging, it took a while, this thing. Yeah, because it was lagging bad. Now it's running like smooth. For me, I don't know if it's running smooth for y'all. I hope it is. Oh, there's an old lady there. Um, no, I didn't talk to her last time, so let's see what she has to say. Hey, girl. Who's the idea? Oh, excuse me, ma'am. If I go to Dad, you're from Sick Monk. Yeah, if you're here, then someone... Oh. You're here, then someone's time, so... Ah, uh, 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 do you know him? I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband every year, every day. Please do your best for dear. Ah, you sound awfully calm about it. Wow, your friend, I'd be worried. I think you think everyone around you always ought to not to be. Hmm, that's true. But then you all people who go that well. True. She does have a point. Like, if, if you're at that age and all your friends and shit are all dying around you, you just pretty much come to terms with it. I, I, would, I would think so. 
That's the way I see it. Okay, I don't know what happened there. That's the way I see it. Like, I, I would see it as, um, that's the way that it would crumble, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <coughs> okay. Yes, best detectives. I, I love the music. It's just amazing. Okay. Dag Nabbit, did I leave it at the office? God damn it. Okay, let me call. Uh, someone. Real quick. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Hello! Rox, it's me. Nils, the light of your color ID. Getting calls from a don't feel like I'm in a horror movie, you know? My bad, I'll turn it off next time. No! I love the, the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the fans coming after me? The excitement's are endless. Um, alrighty. Uh, anyways. Um, look. Are you still at the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Oh, get on, 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 Okay. Fucking weird. Hey, you got the file? Ava, I think I forgot it back then. You what? Don't, don't worry, I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. God damn, fucking lady. Fucking kill my ass with my ears. God damn. Oh, hello. Well, that was quick. Did you find it, Rox? Yeah, that was just sitting on your table after all. Great. You scan it in. Wait a minute. My table. You're in my room? Yep. You asked me to get the files, right? I meant from the printer in the lobby. How did you... How did you get into my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, a girl's got a ways. Okay, look. Just get out of there and send me a scan, will you? And don't touch anything. I just organized it. Yep, yep, found it. <coughs> what are you doing? A what? I don't remember seeing that. I don't remember seeing that. I don't know. I'm mean, losing it. You guys got everything else you need? Yeah, I was configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? Huh? Uh, what? Is it eyes out for a drive? I, uh, guess so. You know, I think I'll just come over and get you a violent person then. What? Why? Just scan. Just scan it and send it over a copy. Goddamn. Well, we got no pages today. It's boring here, anyways. Uh. Any other way, I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then! Wait, Rox! Ah, god damn it. Dang. Damn it. Well, I guess we'll just head back up then. I don't know, I like playing these because I can, like, voice act. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can just voice act. Hmm. No, I wasn't kidding. This thing really is configuring itself. It does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I got some time to snoop around the house. Cool! In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. I kid, I kid, goddamn. <laughs> uh, I love you, Doc. Hey, what's up, girl? Anything I can help with, Doc? Uh, about Colin. Mind telling me a bit about your father before we get into his head? Well, uh, he's a retired airplane pilot and quite the purple person, people person. Worked hard to the family from the ground up and always paid time for us. Although, uh, more recently, uh... Hmm? But recently what? Well, uh, nothing unexpected at uh, this stage of life, I suppose. Look, I'd rather not write out tombstone texts before they're due. Uh, 
Why don't I show you around before your colleague come back? Maybe that'll help. Hmm. It would. Thank you. No retired pilot? Okay. Oh. Asher ah, sure, has joined the party! Yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna pause it here and save. Yeah, in case with its people that don't know, I like that sort of. I feel like Ava is more right for this job. A model of a small fixed winged aircraft. Huh? Is this your dad's? Yeah, it sure is. I guess it reminds him of back when he trained flying those things, you know? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> the way I talk. Okay. Is that your parents? Yeah, that's them. I remember being embarrassed about the picture as a kid, but it's kind of sweet that they kept it so well. Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> a pot of homegrown hibiscus. Hibiscus! I had to deal with this plan at work. Ooh, must be hard work growing tropical plants all the way out here. Uh, I wouldn't know any better. My mother takes care of them. We've had these around the house for as long as I can remember. I guess it's some kind of family tradition. Cool. Okay. Hibiscus. And I guess upstairs we go. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't seen any seen many apartments with multiple floors. Uh, most of this floor is for maintenance. Uh, we just got a little storage room cut out. Hmm. Sorry about the mess. Seems like they've been doing a bit of cleanup. Yeah, well, yeah, there's no problem. Okay. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, I was, I was skeptical on this. I didn't know what to do. Oh, seems like they missed one. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I think I recognize that book. It's been around for quite a while. My dad kept it taped up. I guess he didn't want to throw it away. Hmm. Well, yeah, it's sealed up. He doesn't want anybody reading it, huh? Oh, he doesn't want anybody reading it, huh? Well, under normal circumstances, I'd say to leave it alone for privacy's sake. But he did sign up to become your client, so I don't know. Hmm. So I left it alone because that is invasion of privacy, and I do not like doing that. Hmm. Okay, I'll leave this be. I guess if it's out of my importance, we'll be able to see soon enough. Yeah, true. Let's keep moving. Okay, so now I guess to the kitchen we go. And then we're going to the restroom. Oh man, wait, I just realized we're not going to be able to see that funny scene that's about to come up. Damn it. If you guys don't know what I mean, it's because, um, well, you're about to see it. <laughs> right here. She she is a neat freak. Dang it, why is the toilet paper never on the dispenser? <sighs> One day they'll thank me for the un oh they'll thank me for the unsung hero that I am. Damn it, Watson was so much more funnier. Cause he was like Ava, a call of thirty two! Call of thirty two! It was funny. <laughs> There was literally a cold 32. A dusty cellar with quite a few scratches across the board. Ah, this is my father's old cello. He played it a lot back in the days. But not anymore, it seems. Yeah, I guess it's hard on the wrist. He usually just plays the scales, though. It's not exactly music to be enjoyed. Hmm, interesting. An aged digital piano. Also your father's, or... Uh, no, this is my mother's, actually. Uh, she used to lull me to sleep playing it back in the other days. Intentionally, I hope. Oh, uh, actually, there's something else that might help you prepare. Hmm? Oh, no, not this. Oh, this is the sad part. Here's the family photo album. It goes way back. A physical, physical photo album in this day and age. 
It's like it turned to dust if I open it. It's great, but I, I guess they like having something they can touch. Look through it if you want. Uh, I'll go check on my father. I should go get the maintenance machine ready too. My colleague will be back soon. But I'll check this out for a bit first. Thanks. Hmm. Feels like Ava's the right person to be reading this. Oh, why? No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. No more. It's so so. I got goosebumps. Having lived, man. Having lived. It's the name of the song um, for uh, "To the Moon." It's the same one too. Ah, uh, that's not me crying. That is me uh, sniffing up my snot. Oh my god, I hate that, man. I hate when they do you on that. It's such bullshit. Okay. How are we doing here? Good, I uh, got my part done. How about the file? You said Roxy is sending the scans? Oh, uh, she said she's delivering it in person for some reason. What? That's wasting both our times and hers! Hers, mostly. We can still start. Uh, still, I mean, I know she's a bit cucumber in the head and all, but... Whoa, language, Ava! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, anyways, we'll worry about her loopiness later. Shall we start? Alright. Just get the patient equipped up. Okay. Usually it's Switch. Isn't Watson going to be at the computer? I guess not. Okay. Um, Neil? Hmm. Never mind, we'll talk later. Your helmet is on the recliner. We're all set. Uh, this feels weird. Maybe I should have went the other way. Commence memory transversal. Ready! Let's do this shit. Uh, wait! Hmm? Before you begin, uh, could you tell me what you'll be doing in there? Uh, we're going through his memories to grant him his last wish. Duh. I thought you already knew. Uh, yes, I, I know that, but, uh... How? What will you actually be doing? Um... Well, uh... No, 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 we're gonna elaborate, because there's some people here that don't understand what's going on here, so... Um... We're gonna elaborate. Might as well. We actually don't do much. It's the machine that does most of the work. Says the technician. Who knows best? Cut! The machine calculates uh, premonitions of possibilities and creates a new tangent of life. In the form of memories, of course. It's an illusion, but to him it would be an indistinguishable form uh, from a lifetime of memory. Real memories. God damn it, I can't fucking read. However, the. Uh, Premonitions. The pre premonitions the machine calculates was would still have to be logically coherent. So it needs a starting point and a change in a key variable. And that's where we come in. We tunnel through his memories from the most recent to as far back as we need, drawing a line from now to then. We then be able to help Colin transfer his current motivations all the way to his past. So in this simulated life rerun, he'll make all the kick arse decisions and fulfill his own wish. Just by his own volition. Is that enough? I, I have thought that fulfilling wishes would take more than just effort and a second chance. I mean, can you two just make whatever needs to happen, happen? Ah, uh, continue elaborating. Perhaps, but, uh, one problem. He's not brain dead. 
There are a few things that uphold the illusion of reality. I logically have happenstances aren't one of them. And since the world still must be self-coherent, we can't do more than simply influence him. Besides, we don't get paid enough to generate memories manually. It's not a cave painting. There's a little need for interference anyhow. Willpower is usually more than enough. Note, everyone can reach their goals in real life. Time changes them. Motivations come and go. They always start strong, then plateau, then fade. But in a simulation, based on the mental state of a single moment stretched through a lifetime, let's just say that it's some powerful voodoo bot. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, no amount of volition is going to help a dead man. Shall we proceed? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you for explaining the explanation. I don't know what's going to happen in there, but good luck. Hmm. Luck's for lotteries. We're professionals. Ooh, sharp words. <laughs> God damn it. See you on the other side. Beep. <laughs> Patient is stable and ready. Initializing memory transversal sequence in three, two, one.